Hey, peace, peace, my beautiful brothers and sisters. <clears throat> um, um, I hope I hope everyone's doing well. Um, what I want to talk about is, um, is on you know I'm gonna talk about a little. I probably should write it down. How to conserve store your beauty how to store your beauty um how to store your beauty <clears throat> and also i wanted to talk about some you know probably talk about the light all right um so i'm feeling good today I'm feeling good today um you know i'm not going to go into you know the introductory like the meat of the introductory but uh because i want to i want to um as far as like my aura goes i mean i want to talk about this um and yeah so while i'm uploading this video i have you know quite a bit things to do to get done for today um but that's all right um So so yeah so how to store how to store your beauty and you know and rejuvenate yourself right my beautiful people um, is by staying away from these orcs so ye yes what I'm coming to say is that being near or around orcs all day is is um, it's not good it's not good for you. Um, because what they don't actually what they don't tell you is that the orcs actually uh, it's actually lepers. So orcs orc beings suffer from leprosy, and um, you know it's important that we know that not only not just that not only do they suffer from leprosy, but yes yes the genetics their genes their genes are not wired the right way so um you know that's enough of confusion that's enough about us it's not about you know what our sexuality is it's not about how we identify ourselves um because fact of the matter is only one you can either only one person can be spiritually have a spiritual assignment or have a physical assignment and when everyone has to call everyone by their spiritual assignment or physical assignment all the time, nonstop, it gets in the way of things like natural selection. So the, the gay man, the gay Caucasian man is no different than the straight Caucasian woman, right? They're both exactly the same thing, spiritually and physically. They're both man and they're both women, just like we are, just like us. They're both X and they're both Y. Right? However, the female, the Caucasian female, is literally, literally a man. She's literally, literally a man, which is, which is different than our our people, our people, my people, our people's people, my people. It's different, way completely different. So, taking that into account, we have a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do within ourselves uh, to make ourselves right, you know, to make ourselves stronger and build ourselves up. <clears throat> you know, just like, um, just like the world tree. You gotta mind the world tree. You know, <clears throat> so every tree I see outside, I see it's barren. It's barren, it's stricken, it's suffering, it's tormenting. The tree is really waiting for the right conditions to build itself up and heal itself so it can repair itself, so it can continue to live and be a strong tree, a stronger tree than, or a strongest tree than it was before. So with that, it takes respect, it takes love and take space right 
Now, you know, so that's very, very key. It's very, very key to know. Um, and that goes for all of us, all across the board. It's nothing changing it. Our organs inside, what we sit on, our genitalia is different. Our ass is different. All right, so whereas these Caucasians, these Orgmeans, literally when they are, you know, when they are moving or when they are doing, they literally, they can literally, they can, I feel, uh, literally they feel like they are inside of a body. They literally feel, they feel their body in a way that's almost numb. It's almost numb. Because, yeah, yeah, to lift the arm, you know, for me, the, the same strength, the same way I lift this arm, the same way that my arm goes up, right? They can't imitate that. Like, my arm goes up. You see how my arm goes up? My arm goes up like that, like how it should, you know? It's something that can't be imitated. Their arm goes up like this. Either probably, you know, first, first, um, first, you know, when I lift it up, first my shoulder, my shoulder, it pivots, you know, when my arm goes up, my shoulder pivots first, and then, and then, um, the fingers and my muscles starts to jitter, starts to tremble, because my, something in my shoulder, my muscles in my shoulder, I think it's called near my deltoid, it's starting to tighten, right? So when we move one part of our body, other parts of our body tightens, right? And you can feel it. You can feel it on the opposite end. So let's say if I was going to throw a kick, right? When I throw a kick, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot my hip, my hip bone, my pelvis bone, my pelvic bone. My glutamus maximus is going to tighten. And then for my response to my glutamus maximus tightening, I might, <clears throat> I might, uh, you know, my toes might curl. My toes might do like this, might tense up, preparing for, you know, tremendous force to be or you know to be applied somewhere and then I, I let a, a, a launch a kick so everything happens in steps and increments with us you know because we understand our body we understand how we move you know what I mean we know how to move we know how to move so much that we actually try not to move but um, it's very important that we stay to ourselves and limit our interaction with the work because because they you guys must remember they chose they chose their side they chose to be on their side you know if it's a spiritual creation they chose to be on the side of you know yin or yin or whatever you really really doesn't matter they chose to be on that side of creation they didn't choose to be on here they had a chance to harmonize in other words they had a chance to harmonize with us they chose no they chose not to right so you know you stay beautiful you stay yourself you stay beautiful by not giving compliments by worshiping yourself by worshiping yourself only way we can worship ourselves is to love ourselves, no matter how different we is, we're not gonna start critiquing ourselves. We're not gonna blame each other. We're not gonna point the finger at ourselves. Why would you do that to yourself? You see what I'm saying? So, and let's not forget that every time you speak to one of them, they are gonna hit you with that cognitive dissonance. They're gonna come with you with the cognitive dissonance and the lies. You understand? It's gonna be lies. It's gonna be cognitive dissonance. So, that's my video, um, all power my people, and until next time, I hope this has been a really enlightening video, um, just to show you that, you know, the world is really round, so, remember, and don't call them white. They're not white. They are Caucasians. They're Caucasians. And they are also lepers, right? 
they're also lepers. They have leprosy of the skin. Which is why my next video, I'm going to be talking about the new coronavirus, which is a virus that's literally named after the sun because it's coming from the sun. It's like a CME virus or a CEM virus. And another thing too is um, you're going to see about uh, this moon work. The moon needs to be worked on right now. Right now we should um, be we should be bringing in bringing in the moon closer to our planet. I don't know why, but we should be bringing in the moon closer to our planet. And let's not forget that the interverse is in now in effect. The interverse is officially in effect. Right, but Seema's not gonna remember this. Even though, even if Seema is watching this video here right now before I post it, he's not gonna remember it because because it was the last thing that he forgot before this subject. So I'm gonna release this video. He's gonna be remembered that the interverse is 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 fully activated because it's the new moon has passed. So in the seventh. Even the even the short even a shorty in the, in the, in the comments was mentioning this. Shorty said, "This is a dream with the seven, and how I know is right because the seven. But um, the seventh was a reminder because the seventh the seventh is that pure energy is that white energy, and that white energy always comes after a full moon. It's usually." Um, it's usually like in a sign of Aries or something similar like that. Aries or um, or like either Aries or probably in a second house, which is Aries. So it's either, it's either in a um, sign of Aries or the moon will be in a second house. Either or. Alright. Not both, but either, either or. So, um, so yeah, with that said, you know, um, two more probably not two more weeks two two the next new moon and the next one after that it'll be even more in effect but yeah oh you bitch yeah bitch